And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some quick aggro. That's going to be the uh, name of the deck, I guess, that we're going to be starting the day off with today. As you all know, this is uh, day number two for me playing Legends of Runeterra. We are uh, still building our collection, of course, and um, trying to rank up with you know the cards that we just kind of have in our account right now. Um, the deck, that, the first deck that we're going to be playing... I'm just calling it Quick Aggro, because I don't really know too much about deck names for... I'm going to play Ranked, by the way. But I don't know too much about the deck names for Legends of Runeterra. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, if you have like suggestions, anything, you know, feel free to leave some comments. Um, we're calling this one Quick Aggro because we it's kind of built on Quick Attack. We're playing Demacia to be able to play Lucian with the Quick Attack, and Ionia with Zed with Quick Attack and kind of putting those two together. So we got Zed, Lucian, and I guess I can scroll over here. This is the like, the actual deck list. Um, and pairing them with their Senna. With Senna, Sentinel of Light also. So, you know, kind of get that, that Quick Attack. Um, quick Attack is basically first strike for those of y'all that play Magic. Um, but yeah, it's it's you know just a lot of a lot of kind of beginner-ish cards because you know we're still kind of new to the game. So let's let's just go straight to it. Let's let's try it out. Let's see how we do. All right, so uh, we're at Iron Two, as you can see here. We're at uh, eighty experience out of hundred to level up to get to Iron One, and we're gonna play some games. How do the secret lair cards work when you craft the new gods in Arena later? No, the secret lair, I think the secret lair stuff is not for Arena. It's like for paper magic. I don't think, I don't think there, the, yeah, I don't think it has anything to do with Arena except for like a card back. They usually give you a card back for it. Well, I have a good curve. One, two, three, four. Kind of, I'll just keep, I'll just keep this. Curve. One drop, two drop, three drop, four drop. This four mana card is unsummon. It's pretty expensive for unsummon, but. So, yeah, this is the cool thing about the game. Like, we both play creatures. Um, yeah, we're skipping the block. Hey, Rogobop. Yes, the move did go well. Good afternoon. Lucian. Push back the dark. Well, I guess we can just curve out Lucian into Zed. This is mercy. So I don't really want. I don't want the 2-1 to trade with the 1-1. I want this 2-1 to trade with the 2-2. It has like that challenger, so I can make it I can force them to block with something else. What's up, QQ? Hey, happy happy Saturday. Okay, the mobile Silent Is that is that the app? Okay, so there there's an app. Um I don't have pen and paper. Here, I can copy your message and put it in a notepad, though. And also, note to self: get pen and paper for for this desk. Okay. Um, Passing to me. By the strength of our convictions. Night thanks, he sends. Thanks, thanks for the message there too. Thank you. All right, so these things have what elusive, elusive. So we can't block them. Who will stand with us? Hey, what's up, Boot? Doing good. All right, round number four. I am 
the blade in the darkness. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. They followed the wrong master. I'm sorry, Kiki. Sorry, feeling sick. Oh, and then I want that thing to block I there. You cannot escape. So this is our this is our health. Because what does our what does your tower do? Where's the tower? Alright, they played some kind of trick to give that thing. Our allies did not fall in vain. What they play? You have a plus three plus zero on barrier. This this thing is unsummon. Um, gosh, these are both flying. I have this thing that's flying. This thing, oh, this thing's flying too. Hang on, Fuzzball. Hey. Oh yeah, the 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 one three. Yeah. So if any other, if if any of my creatures die, then at the end of turn, all of my other allies get plus one plus one for good. So that's so now this yeah this is a 4-3 and this is a 3-3 because of that. And it it used to be a 1-4 but it took one damage and now it's a 1-3. So like the creatures don't heal in this game like in magic. They'll so like it once they take damage like they you know like their toughness just goes down. There are cards of course that can heal them and stuff like that. All right, so a 3-1 elusive and a 2-1 elusive. So I can only block with elusives. We'll just block. I think we're just I think we're just going to trade both away. Maybe I just want to trade one of them away. No, we'll just trade them both away. Hang on, sir. I'll sleep with their So Lucian leveled up because it saw four things die, so now it's 5 4 first time an ally dies each round rally. Be strong. These are dark times. And rally means that I get to attack. Okay, so I just want to first. I think before they play other things, I think we just go to attack. I'm just going to attack him with everything. If they want to kill my my 1-3, they can. So now Lucian is a 6-5 double strike. Oh, dang. So they got to have removal. It's too late to okay, fail. never mind. You cannot escape. Yeah, I like that. You kill a creature many turns by just damaging them. Yeah, you get to just like chump block for a little while. You can't double block at all. Okay, they're just bouncing. Um, so I have six mana. Hmm. Lucian only costs two mana? Oh, so so this is leveled up, so this is just like is just the level up every single time now. Push 
back the darkness. All copies of him will be leveled now. Okay. Wow. That's Without awesome. Sound. So they just gave this thing a plus three, plus three, but I'm going to be bouncing it. We didn't use one mana, so it gets share, so it gets stored over in my mana. My mana pool for for just spells. They cannot hide. Okay, just did the tutorial. It's really fun. Nice, Blade. Oh man. They're just trying to pump this thing to kill me and I'm just going to be bouncing it. They're going all in with their giant growths. <laughs> Say creature spells can't be countered in this game, that irks me. Well, maybe not right now. Remember, it's just one set. So you, you don't know how like the game's gonna evolve and everything, and you know just right now that's how it is. But you know it's a brand new game with just one set so far. All right, we got a ton of experience for that. So we got fourteen hundred experience because I finished a thousand XP quest and got some. I don't know, other stuff. Alright, so our vault is at level 7 now. So, like, basically you get the vault on every Tuesday. You just get the vault. And, like, during the week you just try to level it up to make the vault even better and better. So, like, now we're at, like, three gold chests for the vault being at level 7 from yesterday today. And I just got to level 6 for Noxus. So we're going to do the level 6 Noxus, which is a silver chest. Open up the silver chest. We got 179 shards and a few cards. Okay. So I think we were probably supposed to get like four cards and maybe we already had an, the amount of copies for that and then we just got shards instead. I'm not sure. Maybe we, you just get shards. I don't know. But I'm, we started on Noxus. We're, I'm going to go until we get the champions. The champions are pretty valuable. So we're going to try to get to level 7 then level 8 get the champion and then we're going to change re regions and go somewhere else the best deck to start off with i think is the um like the spider zakra like that's that's the one that i thought was um it was the one with like elise and stuff like that i haven't i haven't spent any money on the game i'm just i'm you know this is day two of me playing it so i have basically all beginner stuff too Hey, what's up, Thrice? It's going good. You'd rather be mobile than PC, to be honest. Um, I, I think I think that that's the plan is to to integrate it into mobile. It's just not quite there yet because you know it's brand new. Um, I think the game's only been out for like three weeks. Let's let's get rid of this thing. I don't know. I kept it last time. But I kind of didn't like keeping it. I'm going to get rid of it. And it could be that I'm supposed to just mulligan more aggressively to look for champions. Like, look for, like, my Lucian and stuff like that. And not even keep, like, a good curve. Try to hit those powerful cards. I haven't really decided that yet. Yeah, yeah, that's that's true. The best way to min the best way to min max wild cards to maximize your wild cards is just go to level four for each one. Since I'm gonna be trying to get like all the cards and everything, I don't know. I haven't used any wild cards yet. I'm not like right away trying to build whatever meta deck immediately. Um, so this is. So this will get rid of 
Oh, no, from a follower, and this is not a follower. So you can't get rid of stuff like that. Okay. Let's play this thing and draw a card. Oh, is that already flips? Whoops. All right, so what is this? So quick att attack, create a, an attacking living shadow. Okay, yeah. We're doing just fine. All right, so I'm gonna play... So I want to just kill their, I want to kill their Zed. No. Ugh. I need one more mana for this. Well. Darn. That's not great. You can purify that from this thing? What what could I have purified? Because this is from a follower, right? So I assume that I can't purify this thing because it's not a follower. That's my assumption. I've been yeah, I've been really liking it, Max Bell. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. For a daring escape. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, so okay, so I could not have done that. Um They followed the wrong master. Starter pack worth paying five bucks. I'm not sure. Is it okay? Hollow says it is. I was I was actually I was gonna ask y'all about that because yeah I wasn't sure either. It looks like you get a lot of cards. You get 11 cards from each region. You do get a lot of cards. I'll write my own story. <laughs> Next mission is to make teamer reclamation in this game. <laughs> it's a good mission. It's a good mission. The Yordle here is with me. They cannot hide. Um I think I just attack with this thing. What's up, Kendis? Where are you going? Happy weekend. All right, so I can I can now purify this thing, right? And remove the buff and everything. I hope that works. Yeah. Sweet. It worked. Three, 
Three day weekend because of President's Day. Nice. Get me a sweet bun. Heightens the senses. Yep, yeah, burst spells are totally uncounterable. Yep. They just happen without a response, that is correct. By the strength of our convictions. These are dangerous lands. So this thing is what? Three, four, life steal, and elusive. Okay. Oh, they did not any they did not do any attacks. Hmm. I think it's a three four. Right, I'm going to bounce there 2-4 and just kind of attack out. You call that sneaky? What? What is this thing? This will not take long. Oh, that's the thing that's already there. Eyes open. Um... Hey, what's up, Gator Frank? All right. Um, I guess I can't really save anything. So... It's a good block. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. Probably should have waited on that bounce thing. Probably wasn't that. I don't. I don't think that was a very good turn by me. I. I should have just attacked with just the elusive thing. Let it die. Pump everything else up. Yeah, that was not. That was not a good turn by me. So I can't block that thing. That was a good draw, though. A three, you know, drew another card. Ugh, they got one, though, too. And unfortunately, I have six mana, and this thing costs seven. Oh, no. I got 17. Ugh. I think they got this one. Burst. Okay, so they just basically said this thing doesn't have elusive anymore. That's kind of a waste of that card. Isn't that a waste of that card? Feels like it is. Up. 
This isn't part of the training. It means I can't block, but oh, is that oh, is it gone for good? That thing is silenced for good. Oh. Well, that's bad. It's not like till end of turn. Step lightly. Silent as death. Yeah, just all these things are elusive. Uh, I'll just let them kill me. Okay, so that's good. Gone for good. Okay. The advantage is mine. Yeah, y'all are right. The, the, this elusive stuff does seem pretty powerful. Better than my beginner stuff. Because all their, all their creatures... are, like, unblockable. Alright, got some experience. One and one. So I had no champions. Probably should have mulliganed. Probably should have mulliganed. That that elusive that you know, it's like a two mana, like four three if you just have to bounce something. The card's pretty good. Okay, um, I'm going to just get rid of everything. No champions. There we go. We got a champion. Better. That's what we call digging. What does he want from me? Yeah, it's a good question, Kendis. I don't know. Uh, maybe somebody in chat knows. Game developers release any kind of state of the game that talks about possible changes to keywords or other mechanics. All right, so this is last breath, create in hand another last breath follower from any region that costs three or less. That's pretty good. There's a balance patch in three days. I mean, I can, I can attack, they're definitely going to block, and then I get plus one, plus one. I feel like we can do a little bit more, though. Wow, that Shark Chariot's pretty sweet. Does Is it it's a Pheromole also? Alright, we got Zed and Senna. Just a 1-1. One, one. Making the dead deader. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't expect any of the the keywords to change. I'd be yeah, I would think that would be a, a surprising thing change any keywords. Pledge yourself to the shadows. The chains, they never stop. Hmm. I have many I 
wanna go home. Please don't be a burst spell. Fast. Deal three damage to each enemy that was summoned to this round. All right, so we can deny that. Stop that. Sweet. So now Zed flips. That's a pretty sweet animation. So now it's just a 4-3. That's really all. It's just a 4-3 now. All right, last ephemeral, last breath, deal one damage to each nexus. What is this? Oh, yeah, kill an ally draw too. So I got five mana. That card's cool. I like that card. Don't really have things to do. I don't have too many of these things. I could just bounce spell and just bounce something, I guess. Just to use some mana. This thing can't block anyway. So I could just like bounce this this thing that, that would have blocked. Then they would just replay it again. It's like they have the mana to replay it, so that doesn't really make a lot of sense. So I guess I'm just going to not use any of this mana. <laughs> just leave me alone! All right, what do we got? Nope. All right, no blocks. I wanna go All right, home. blocks. An ally. Okay, so you're they're fighting those two. Give that plus three, plus zero, and a shield. So we can do more damage. That's what, 13 damage? Lito! Boom! Got the win. And we're two and one. So what's after iron? Does it go to gold? Is that the next thing? So I need to target my allies 12 times. Bronze. Bronze is the next thing. That makes sense. So iron, bronze, silver, gold. I know that there's like a lot of them. Do I want to change this deck at all? Okay, I just have the one Radiant Strike. Okay, that's... I haven't been too happy with that Radiant Strike. There's just one of them, though. I don't know if I really love any of these other options, though. I just have tons and tons of three drops as far as that thing goes and this thing goes. The Purifies looked pr good. Let's play a second Purify and get rid of this Radiant Strike. Oh, there's two Radiant Strikes. Yeah, let's definitely get rid of one and get a second Purify in there. That's better. That's good. I am Sacrasta. Yeah, I am. So, all right. So let's play this. Iron, bronze, silver, gold, 
Platinum, Diamond, Master. There's so many levels. And I wish they told you like that somewhere in the game. I wish they would just let you know what the ranks are, like what what you are and what they are. Do the rankings ever reset? Like with, with Arena, every month it resets and you get ranked down and you have to rank up again. Is that something that happens with this game too? Alright, so we already got Zed that we're playing on turn 3. So let's just kind of kind of cut these other 3 drops. I don't know, this, this elusive one's pretty good though. So let's... Let's ship him. Mm. Okay, so most of the players are already familiar with that because it's the same as League of Legends. Yeah, well, they should still post it in the game, I feel like. But yeah, I guess they assume people already know that. Um... Attack. So no two drops, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's definitely a big thing in magic of going going second is a real big downside. Yeah, you know, yeah, that that's that is tough to win while you're going second. Spooky spiders. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. Did I play Jinx plus Zed yesterday? No, I did not. I played it, the Jinx plus Zed, just a tad bit off stream earlier today. And I did not like it very much, to be honest. Oh, maybe I should be making this block, because then I can have the 2-1, the I can force their 3-2 to block mine. Oh, so that's actually... I probably shouldn't be making that block. I Get him, Zed. The in the darkness. Get our quick attackers. So if I if I purify this, will my creatures get plus one plus zero again, or did that already happen and that then that doesn't does that not work? Because obviously that means that's the difference between being able to attack with Zed or not. Does anybody know? How that works. Hopefully somebody says something. Anybody? Oh, no, nobody's saying anything. So I guess we're just attacking here. Don't want to risk it. Okay, yeah, people just weren't sure. Uh, my question was, like, this is when I'm summoned, give other ally spiders that this round. And I was wondering if I purified that, would, you know, uh, would I not get that minus one, minus zero, basically. Stand down. Yeah, so no, it already happened. That's... That makes sense to me. Let's strike them all. Taking a break, Alcator. No. 
Dang. That hurt. Come closer. I don't fight. Smooth as that hurts. I don't think I'm winning this one. Aha, uh -huh, thanks, Hawkater. Thank you so much. I'm missing Hawkeye so much. Oh, it's their turn. Thanks, Hawkater. Thanks for the resub. No, I haven't done an expedition before. No, this is we're playing constructed right now. I have an expedition token that's talking about that that maybe we do that later on today. But no, I haven't I haven't done an expedition. Yeah, like their their deck definitely seems like a, a good constructed deck. Yeah, expedition is is drafting. Yep. Yeah, my deck looks like a, a draft deck. Yeah, I mean it's. I just started the game yesterday. I haven't used any wild cards or anything. Like these are all. I'm just using the cards that I have. Okay, end the round. Yeah, that least card is real good. Says overwhelm also. Dang. Well, I have to. I have to do this so I can stay alive. Then I guess I pump this thing. So that means I have to trade off Zed. That's just how it is. We fight for those who cannot. Just how it is. Yeah, I, I really like the game so far. Yeah, I, I think it's it's a uh, it's a lot of fun to play. I've been really enjoying it. Um, uh, what was this thing? Oh, they're at ten. I have nine mana. Wish I had one more mana. Wish I had one more mana.
Oh gosh. Ouch. Well, right now, if they just go to move to attacks, I can block the other two and try to stay alive. And then we can try to keep this thing alive with plus zero, plus three. Oh, does this thing have what does this thing have trample or something? I think I'm staying alive. Okay. Pledge yourself okay. to the shadows. Ouch. Making the dead deader. I salute you. Wow, that deny is really good too. So we just just attack. That's it. Yeah, we just attack with the flyer. So even if they would have drawn a, a fast spell, would have had the counter spell for it. So we just drew we just drew the counter spell too. Look at us, look at our, our draft deck beating meta decks. Quick aggro. <laughs> yeah, the big ass dragon's just too elusive. What can you do? All right, we got 1700 total experience. We're at level seven now with this, so we need to just level up one more time to get to level eight, and then I'm gonna move on and, and go to a different um, region. And so now that's like two gold chests and a platinum chest. That's my... Um, that's my assumption there. If you don't play six of six champions in the deck, um, I mean, I could, I guess the other, okay, so that was an extra copy, so we got 15 shards. I think that's the first time that's popped up. I just didn't have, um, I don't really have, like, the six champions to play. I have, like, two expensive champions that just aren't too great. Now I'm just playing other cards over instead. The Whirling Death is pretty good. Basilisk Rider, 5-2 Allegiance, grant me plus one, plus one in Overwhelm. What's Allegiance? Oh no, I'm trying to click on the card. See what it does. I didn't even read the other ones. Um, new question. Oh, I just, ha I just had a question that popped up in my head that I was going to ask y'all, but I forgot what that was going to be. Oh, what was my question? Hmm. Oh, I know what the question is. Um, we'll play another one here. Uh, yesterday after stream, like, you know, we, we did all of our dailies. After stream, I, I, you know, closed out. And then when I was uploading the YouTube, I need, need to look at like some of like the, the terms. And so I, I closed back or I opened it back up. And as soon as I opened it back up, it said that I had new daily quests. So like when do the daily quests reset? Like I just we just finished all three daily quests. If I if I would just exit out and then re-enter, would I get new daily quests? I want to replace an A drop and let's just replace these things too. We'll keep the Shadow Assassin. Is there is there a specific time? Like maybe I maybe I crossed over that time and that's why I got new daily quests? I'm playing in the U.S. I'm in the central central time zone for the U.S.
So 3 a.m. Yeah, I, that was definitely not 3 a.m. for me. It was like... Uh, you know, it was like 9 p.m. Okay, because maybe I got beginner quest and that net extra experience. Okay, that could be it. Hey, what's up, two nails? What's up? All right, we got uh, two mana. Let's play this one drop. I'm actually here. I d that does let them play something. Can't block. Okay, now whenever that thing dies, they get a 4-4. Four, four. Okay. So the same happened to y'all whenever you got a new account. Gotcha. Dude, that card is really good. Like, that combination right there. They just spent two mana to get a 4-4 four, four and a 3-2. That's a really good combination. Thanks, Choco. So basically, y'all are saying... If I... What is this thing up here? That seems pretty sweet. You cannot escape. Wait. Just block with this thing. What am I doing? So y'all are saying that if I just close out and re-enter, I'm not going to get three new daily quests. This doesn't look great for me. What is this card? So they just get to keep on making more and more shark chariots? That also seems like a good combo. And they just have another one? So I have like seven mana total with that. Um, strength and grace, beauty in the blade. Yeah, now they get them all back and they're all attacking. Push back the darkness. My pawn stack seems pretty sweet here. This is the best card in the eph ephemeral decks. Well, that's not good. Because, <laughs> yeah. They got a whole lot of them. That's not good for me. I won't back down. I just block one, I guess, and I guess I take nine. I guess.
Now we're gonna have this 2-3 die. So that the rest of my team will get pumped. Alright, oh, that thing is now a double attack. Um... So I'm going to give them more opportunity to play some more blockers, but I want to play a couple of creatures here. Hey Alex, yeah, I've I've been uh, I've been really happy with the deck so far. Been really liking it. Old masks let young eyes see clearly. So the starter bundle's kind of mixed. It doesn't have any champions. I know, yeah, get, you do get a lot of cards with it. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah, FinTech, yeah. It, I moved across country and everything. It, the whole thing took me like a week. Okay, so I want to attack with that. Attack with this. Um, you are going to be blocking here. Um, you're going to be attacking. You can attack. So this this makes one of these a 3-1. That's fine. Wait, so maybe I don't actually attack with that thing. Okay. No, I, I don't really uh, watch worlds. I haven't. No, but um, but yeah. So yeah, I haven't streamed for like you know a week or so. Is you know, like the packing and driving across country and unpacking and stuff. Um, but, you know, I thought a lot, and I, I just want to try a new game. That's what I'm currently doing. I don't know exactly what my opponent just played. Something that gave them an attack, I guess. Which is probably bad for me. Um, I'm not sure the next time we're going to stream Magic, honestly. I I want to give this game a real try, and I'm going to be playing this the next few days. So I, I don't know. Um, I haven't really determined a schedule or anything yet. So I have to block at least two of those. You can block one. I'm, I'm ready. Dang, you can block another. And then you can block this thing. Too late for you. And go down to one. I have Mark of the Isles. I guess, yeah, I don't know what that card does. She only got one card in hand, in so... Vain. Looks like they didn't have Mark of the Isles. So now it's their turn to attack.
So I'm not I'm not playing another creature because if they do get all those three ones back and attack with everything, I want to play this judgment to kill all of their stuff. That means I may just waste all this mana though. I can't really tell. This just has to work. Hopefully this works. Perfect. It worked. Summon a random five cost follower. Okay. Um, so this has life steal. Damage this unit deals heals the nexus that amount. So they can gain five life. So they could like block this, gain five. So I'm doing that thing that's a burst spell, and then moving straight to attacks, and you know, so make this thing a 7-3, so they can't play other blockers. They can block one thing and gain five life, but they're still taking 18. I will end this here. Now 19. Hold back the darkness. Awesome. We did it. Victory. Man, we have some really close games. And everything. Ugh. We're not we're not winning by a lot. But our quick aggro deck is doing it. We're kinda of doing it. Alright, we're let's I'm just gonna I'm just gonna check. We're going to I'm gonna exit game. So I'm going to do a scientific experiment. If I exit game and then restart Legends of Runeterra, I want to see what happens. If I get daily quests or not, which I don't think I will. But I just want to just want to check. Oh no, can I re can I reset? going on there it goes no I don't think I got new new quests I did not all right I did not get new quests now what is this rerolls thing can I click this and then I get new quests or is that just reroll quests that you already had what is what does this thing do It rerolls an existing one. Okay. Just like Arena. Okay. Is there like a is there any kind of like rule that I, that we should know about like the rerolls? Like if you have an XP quest that's not as much that you need need more. So this is two days, thirteen hours, so you're saying so it'll reset in thirteen hours, thirty two minutes? Okay, so some give a thousand, some give fifteen hundred. If you get a thousand one, re-roll it and try to get a fifteen hundred. That makes sense. All right, well we are really close to leveling up to bronze.
Okay, let's see. Choose cards to replace. So I'm going to replace... Honestly, I kind of like these cards. I want to re replace this. Let's just replace those two. We'll keep one drop, two drop. Or two drop, three drop, I mean. You need to drop money on some wild cards, the champ ones, to get the, the champion wild cards. I mean, yeah, I mean, we're still low on the ladder. It's, you know, like we're four and one today. Like that's pretty competitive. We're still we're still competitive for now. Wow, that's that's rude. What's up, Campfire Studios? Whoa, a big tier three sub. Y'all, get some love in the chat for Campfire Studios. Everything's better with company. Dude, thank you so much. That, is, that was amazing. Thank you. Oh, Lucian's good. All right, so we're going to play Lucian. Don't get in my way. I make this thing a 3-1 now with Elusive. Aw. Yeah, thank, thank you, Campfire Studios. <clears throat> so we got the Elusive 3-1 and the 3-2 Quick Attack. Making it difficult to block. They'll never see us coming. I'm pretty sure they'd see us coming. Like we're we we're out on the battlefield. Oh, okay. So that's what this does. So you hover this over and it shows that they'll take six. Deal two damage to that. Rude. So Lucian needs to see four allies die to transform, or to level up. Well, thank you so much, Campfire. That's that's really nice. I really appreciate that. Uh, support, shuffle four copies of the supported ally into your deck. Whoa, that's a lot of copies. Um. Let's get the protege out there. Strength and great beauty in the play. So I'm gonna have two spell mana saved up for next turn. Okay. So I'm going to. Just go ahead and attack and say their 2-4 has to block my 2-4. And I don't, you know, I could be aggressive and, you know, pump and stuff like that, but I think I kind of want to wait till they do stuff. Frostbiting that thing. That's okay. Whoa! They just get... Play summon each Elnick in the top 10 cards of your deck? Whoa, that's pretty powerful. Doesn't all that armor slow you down? Slow and steady wins the war, Lucian. That's pretty powerful. It could be that I'm wasting this, that I need to save, that I could save it for a better use. I like how, you know, Garen, of course, has the regeneration. I already get Garen to strike once. Okay. 
You know, just using the instant speed removal spell, basically sorcery speed. Right now. And then Garen will regenerate the health. And the gaggle of yak things. Yak yak. Yakety yak, don't come back. It's a pretty powerful card, yeah. You so if you put, I don't know how many Elnux are you know in the game, but you know top ten cards. That's a lot of cards. You cannot stall judgment. There's only the two Elnux. Oh well, that's not very many. I only have, I'm one mana short of being able to have both Twin Disciples and Reposts available. Garen has struck twice. So it just, just turns into a... Um, the Yordle here is with me. Just gets plus one, plus one, basically. Instead of a 5-5, five, five, it's now a 6-6. Six, six. Oh, yeah, JRC. Yeah, I should do that. Um, maybe I'll do that tomorrow, honestly. Deal six damage to a unit. Well, I'm going to give it a barrier. That's why I wanted to just play the two-drop and be able to keep that barrier thing alive, because with that attack, it felt like they had some kind of trick there that they were going to do. So yeah, maybe I should do that tomorrow, because yeah, I need to I do need to finish Luigi's Mansion. Um kind of feel like don't give them more chance to play more blockers. Pull that thing in front of this. And attack. Even though this would give my other creatures plus one plus zero. Oh, I also get Rally at the beginning of my turn? Or at the beginning of each turn? So then I wonder if I should just play this next turn and get the bonuses with everybody. Yeah, I probably should wait a turn and get the bonuses. Oh yeah, so we get to, we get to attack. We got Rally. Ugh, that's a bunch of those. Hmm. Today you are king. If they're out there, I'll spot them. The wicked must fall. All right, opponent surrendered. We're five and one. And did we do it? We're out of iron. We are in bronze. Bronze level four. 
What's up, Storkster? I am, yep. Yep, giving Arena a little bit of a pause for now and trying a new game. Awesome. Is it just always like, you know, every win is just 200 XP and like a loss is like 100 XP? Sounds right. So we need, what, 850 more XP to get this champion and then we'll move on to a different region. Oh, there is a cap? Boo. It depreciates after like 10. Gotcha. All right, let's uh, play a little more. <laughs> now I need to try this on my potato computer. Thanks, Doug. Yeah, you should try it. It's, this has been fun. Oh, yeah, that's true. You probably don't get the XP if you just concede right away. That's I would, I would assume that's true also. Oh, I forgot we have this awesome nine drop. Let's get rid of these two. And even let's get rid of this. No, I'll keep that. Mm. I was hoping for a two drop. But at least if you don't have... You know, if we don't have the creatures, then... Uh, we're going to have a lot of spell mana to protect our Senna. But unfortunately, we're on defense round three. Without a sound. So 3-2. The dark beckons. I'm going to try to take out Zed. And then I basically blocked this thing for a turn. Making the dead deader. Go, Santa, go. Yeah, this game's just best of one. A 2-5. I can't attack through a 2-5. Just such an awkward hand of just everything costing 3 and 4 mana. The order rewards are faithful. No, it's not one copy per card. I think you can have three copies per card. I'm not sure about the exact rules with that. Full speed ahead. I think there are some control strategies that use spells. I believe. So they're both elusive, so I just can't block. So there are, okay, yeah, so there are control strategies to use a lot of spells. Go ahead, scare 
Yeah, and I, I expect the game to continue to expand and evolve as more sets come out. You know, like well, this is just like the first set, so I I can definitely understand it being even if it is now just a lot more on just like creatures and combat math and stuff like that as introductory set. So I have You cannot escape. Drain three. That doesn't really do anything, right? It didn't gain any life. I mean, I could have countered it, but it didn't really do anything. Yeah, fearsome is comic mass. Yeah, it can only be blocked by creatures with three or more power. Um. I'm at 12. By heart and sword for Demacia. May need a bounce like this, this thing. Alright, over to me. Can't play that thing yet. Attack! So all my creatures get plus one, plus one, and fearsome. Except for, except for the 6-4 in the middle. It's a lot of damage, like they're gonna have to block something. Yeah, unjumpable. Um, no. Deny that. They're denying my deny? Um so I could bounce it back to my hand. How much damage are they taking? Oh, because they're killing this thing, so seven. Alright, so they're only taking thirteen. I can't kill them. I don't even know if it's worth it to Put it back in my hand. No, probably not. The problem with bouncing it, I don't know, I, I think I need to say, make sure I can stay alive from this thing. I'm gonna s save my bounce. And I, I have other things to play anyway. By the strength of our convictions. Approaching the battlefront. Our allies did not fall in <clears throat> I want to make sure I can save that bounce from that flyer that I can't block. The elusive creature I can't block. I'll end you like the rest. You will come to try. All 
Oh, I can't even play the 9-drop right now because I have too many creatures in play. They'll never see us coming. What does this thing do? Nice challenger. Yeah, do y'all think I should do the expedition today? How does like so do you do you get to keep the cards that you get from expedition? Like how does it work? So like can I get you know a champion or whatever? Okay, so you don't keep the cards, but you get a guaranteed champion at the end, and you get XP. You get big rewards. Okay, well then, yeah, we should do that. So I wasn't taking lethal damage, so I didn't have to use the unsummon. In combat we're attacking with all this stuff and, and i'm trying to bounce their creature they're going to kill their own creature to draw two on, okay so you get a random champion card and then you also get a number of shards which scales the number of wins you get so we get a lot of shards our, our quick aggro deck here is pretty sweet. Quick attack aggro. Get that 200 XP. So now we're 650 away. Okay. Well, this has been an hour and a half video. So that's a, that's a good sp spot to kind of take a break you know, for, for uh, YouTube, you know, and, you know, because I want to break it up into different videos. So, yeah, we finished six and one, you know, so set seven games there, finished six and one with the quick aggro. Over and ranked, very good. And, you know, obviously our decks are, are very beginner-ish right now, because that's, you know, what, what we are. Um, but then, yeah, let's, let's go try this uh, expedition thing. So that'll be our next video. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, um, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. I got a lot of good comments yesterday on the videos and I really appreciate those. Um, so thank you for that. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go try an expedition and we'll go record that and you know how we do there. And then we'll try some more of the spiders aggro deck after the expedition. All right, but thank you so much for watching some League of Legends with quick aggro and I will see you for the next video.